We had this uh, car ramming incident in Australia yesterday. We were told initially this was a, you know, a disturbed individual. This wasn't necessarily about terrorism. How do you think that case is ultimately going to pan out? There's still many questions. Well, when one looks at the probability uh, of having an Afghan immigrant in Australia who also says to police that he ran over a bunch of people with his car in one of the busiest parts of Melbourne right before the Christmas holiday and did so because of the treatment of Muslims around the world, that's where we are right now on the facts and that the authorities in Melbourne are, are, and in Australia are still saying that it looks like they can't come up with a link to terrorism. It seems like they're moving rather slowly on that motive. I think the political motive and therefore the uh, terrorist nature of the act is, is pretty clear at this point, or at least there's a few more bits that could be added into it. But it, it's certainly not random. They said it was an act of evil from the beginning. It wasn't an accident, and so why would somebody do that? And in Australia, we see what we've also experienced in this country, which is a desire because of political correctness to, at least in the initial hours and even days of an attack like this, downplay it. I think that the press and even government sometimes think that that does a favor for people because it makes them less concerned somehow mm -hmm. and they feel like the authorities are on the threat. I think that's really bad news, Shannon, because the truth is uh, everyday citizens who are vigilant and keeping their head on a swivel can play a very important role in averting these kinds of attacks. We saw that with the Times Square bomber back in 2010, Faisal Shahzad. It was civilians who tackled the underwear bomber on Christmas Day mm -hmm. in a plane above Detroit. He could have taken down that whole plane if things had gone differently. So people, everyday folks, do have a role in this. And I don't think it's the place of the media or, quite honestly, of the authorities anywhere, Australia or elsewhere, to try and downplay the obvious motivations of some of these attacks.